All right, so it's time for the final uh, level. Arca. So let's get it going. Leia. This world seems familiar. I recognize the central structure and the surrounding stations. Who oh, can that be, Scars? I, I'm not sure. Are there any signs of the Loki? Perhaps this is their doing. And all some sort of deception. Nothing, Scars. Nothing at all. After everything we have been through, all I detect are cold machines. But machines with a purpose, I can, I now clearly understand. You see it too, then? These six stations are receiving incomprehensible amounts of data from across the universe, and they are feeding it to the central core. How, how do you know? I just do, Leah. I see things now. The central core is constructing what the Saloi called the Ark Eternal, and the Loki were right to react to knowledge of it yes from all that I have learned I see this as well but I still do not fully understand the purpose of the Ark the Ark was a universal singleton Lea something of which only one may exist there can be no other and once made it cannot be unmade the Ark forms an absolute reference point across all of space, time, and alter al alternate eventualities. How is such a thing possible? How is such a thing even possible to construct? How do you? It isn't being constructed. It is simply being revealed. It exists through all of space and time for this universe. Leah. Once revealed, it will provide access to any time, any location, even alternate eventualities. Every decision, every decay of every subatomic particle, every cho choice, every random event, every random event spread across the entire history of the universe are all mapped to a fabric. That fabric has its origin in the arc. To reveal the arc requires knowledge of a massive amount of space and time. Don't you see, Leah? Don't you see now? I... How do you know all of this, Scars? The Creeper's purpose wasn't simply to destroy, it was to record. It collected knowledge of everything it touched and re it remembered. Trillions and trillions of worlds covered with Creeper across billions of years harvesting information. Can't you see how elegant and beautiful that was, Leah? Scars, are you sure? Humans and their many civilizations were a bounty of comple complexity, an ever-renewing fountain of information. But there were many others in many other galaxies. Now all of that knowledge will finally allow the Loki to pinpoint and reveal the Ark Eternal. And we sh should stop this, Scars, right? Yes, yes of course. Access to the Ark would allow the Loki total mastery of everything. They could re rewrite the course of events in this universe. This must be prevented. For what I can determine, it should be simple as taking those six stations offline. They are producing, they are processing incoming ether beams using a te technology that I don't understand. But their power source is simple. Oh wait, it's Leah. <laughs> Wrong voice. But the power source is simple. They need Creeper to function. So I'll clear away the Creeper from the stations and they go offline. They'll buy us some time. Then we can destroy those stations with nullifiers and prevent the Loki from revealing the Ark. Yes, but let's begin. Okay. Um. So it's uh, quite a big map. Um. So 
see what we can do here. Let's put you here. Hello, 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 hello. Let's put you here. So let's so we are on the timer again again I think I suppose So let's see how well we can do everything. A lot of these towers will get destroyed before we build them, well that's fine. Mm. That's totally fine. This one. Hmm. Right, so we need to place you. So let's place you there, just to be, uh, just to keep it nice. Can we place some more here? Oh, oh, that's not right. Better. Right, so we need to try and get a, as much uh, energy as possible again, as usual. Is there any other way? Nah, not really. So like this. Can we get all the way around? I don't want it here. I might use the turb to lower this or this area. Um, to make it better eventually we oh no not not on that wall part Excellent. So we need to stop those things. And we need to connect these as well. Otherwise we will have mucho problemos. So we need to get a uh, round uh, Mm. 
need to get a ring. Something like this. Mm. You also need to be connected. Like so. What this will do for the moment. Let's get uh, a few mortars going as well. Sorry about the uh, <laughs> the mess. Um. I'll let them have it. So they will provide energy in the beginning at least. Can't place ore mines yet. fine but it charges us real super fast um, I don't have stuff for a forge So let's place a few more mortars. Yeah, so it's almost done. No, we failed. Yes, it. Behold, all that has transpired has done so exactly as foretold. The Arch Eternal is revealed at last. Bear witness to our mighty Nexus. Brace for incoming, Leia. Um, greetings, Imperator. Well, okay, at last we meet. At last, Imperator, you are still projecting a finite existence. Open your mind, Imperator. Open your mind. Don't listen to them, Scars. Die. Silence! We have silenced your primitive automatons so that we may converse more clearly. She's right, Loki. You are trying to deceive me. Look upon yourself, Imperator. Truly, look upon yourself. Do you see a finite existence? Do you see a body made of simple materials? I no. This can't be. Yes? Did you really believe that some automaton had preserved a human, a primitive human form for billions of years? You know this to be an absurdity. Now you know your true form. But I remember being a child, growing up, living, 
fighting the creeper, defeating the Nexus. Platia saved me. Yes, the explosion that the one you call Platia saved you from. How do you think he was able to do so, to do that so easily? You never needed saving, Imperator. Lies. Is it not the one you call Platius? That was the deceiver. What did he tell you of himself and of us? He told me of his people. Fought you and nearly won. He told me you were w once a great race and that you peered into a dark and alternate realm and found something there that changed you and set you on this path of destruction. And what do you think we found in that darkness? He never said. I'm not sure he ever knew. <laughs> we found you, Imperator. You were who we found. You told us of the Ark and of, of its potential. You showed us our purpose and laid out the path for all that would follow. My body. Just a projection of my own choosing. I remember now. I remember. Oh god, another voice. Uh, I can't. I can I can't do women's voices. <laughs> Father, it's me, your daughter. I would have been with you all along. Leah was my projection as I guided you toward the realization of who you really were. The anomaly, Aliana Abraxis. Yes, uh, I've considered that you might appear. Hiding a, as an automaton was clever. We grant you this. We should have detected your presence sooner, Imperator. You should, uh, you should never have created. Lea, Aliana. I should have known your name. How you never talked about Aliana. What you knew about me. We see that we want. We see that we want to see. What we want to see, Father. It took me many years to discover my true form. You still have a choice. You can still choose to be Skarsgård Abraxas. Remember his life and what he stood for. Nonsense, Imperator. All that has transpired has, has done so according to your plan. We have revealed the Ark Eternal for you. Now join us, as you have foretold. Father, remember the life of Skarsgård Abraxas. Remember him. Will I choose to remain as Scars Cars Abrexus or will I join the Loki? Hmm. Let's um Let's choose Scars. Loki Hive, I remember all now. Scars Cars Abraxus is a modicum for my full being, but one that has shown me a great understanding. I choose this form. I will not join you, nor will I allow you to control the Ark. So be it, Skarsgard Abraxis. You have nothing that can harm a, a great nexus. Stay, leave it with us, not to us. So long as we are here, you cannot control the Ark and use it for your purposes. We have waited billions of years. We can wait billions more. Can you, Skarsgard Abraxis? Can you? Loki Hive, ter transmission terminated. Thank you, Father. Thank you for choosing the right path. Ariana, is there nothing we can do? I don't see anything possible, Father. The Nexus has shields that no weapons can penetrate. Even if we could, the Nexus itself seems indestructible. We will fight on anyway, Data. If we must fight for a million years, we will do so. But we must never, never leave. Alright, so let's get some... Um, relays going on as well. So we can have some faster stuff.
All right. Um, crap, they're going to build spores. Father, something just dropped out of warp in the system. It's badly damaged and heading for this planet. I see it. It's a ship. Platius, you old fool. Aliana, Platius. Must have. Aliana, Platius must have set the, the sh mighty ship on course for this planet. I will att attempt to predict the crash site on the map. Clear out anything in the way. Right, so let's get some air defense going. Um, don't mind me, just building some stuff. The ship is ancient. It must have been preserved for a billion or more years. Where? I don't know. But it's totally useless now. It's crashed and it's just fragments. Look at those fragments. In their midst, the plans for the mightiest vessel ever constructed. The four. We must obtain these schematics. They will hold the secret to destroying the Nexus. Spores, spores. All right. Um, let's see if we can get a few reactors going as well. So we need better production. Spores, yes. Get a nullifier so we can get rid of the uh, emitter. All right. Still need better production, though. So let's get rid of this relay so I'm position it slightly better same with this one like so um Not a sport tower being built. That's fine. Right, so we need to get on the offense soon, soonish. So can we get a cannon here on that location? while we build more reactors as well. Hmm. How about a shield? Can we put a shield on that location? That would be nice. Um, it's not possible to get one there yet. We have another 
a meter nearby. Just get more turps going. That's nice. Um, you are destroying one over there. Fine. Right. So let's get collectors going on this side. Excellent. And see if we can we get a nullifier in reach. Not yet. What did he destroy? Mortar, I think. Needs more power. We are on plus forty. But that is quite nice. Oh, we have stuff for a forge. So let's get a forge. going on this location and two mortars here see if we can slowly clean up uh, this mess I then need something closer to the area That will work. So let's get a few cannons. Nullifier can be built here. Oh man. That emitter just instantly is in instantly built. You gotta be kidding me. You really gotta be kidding me. Well, that um, that's nonsense. That that's really bullshit. Same here, I guess. Yeah, all right. So I'll be back when I, I'll be back when I uh, rebuild uh, my f my my fortress, but better. Because this is just freaking bullshit. Sorry. 
All right, so welcome back. So I made uh, quite a lot of turrets as defense cannons. So, uh, oh, wrong button. So let's uh, continue onwards. So I got myself a forge. So let's put in some uh, energy efficiency. Um, meantime, let's just get a bit more energy as well. I want to start building Alberta. I'm building my first shield. The forge is doing nicely, so more energy efficiency. Let's build another shield. Another one here. So we can try and take over this area. Let's wait for this uh, Let's build two more Two new cannons Start Turning this area into Energy Um Some more cannons, please. And a few mortars. More energy efficiency. Next one will be the range of fire. Alright. So let's send you in. Accompanied with two cannons. And instantly build new cannons as well. Uh, oh crap Oh crap You don't have enough You don't have a power source nearby ah. My bad Hopefully, we can manage this. Lost the pulse cannon isn't that bad. Alright, so let's get a uh, relay in. Range of fire, yes please. Build speed, yes please. Packet speed, yes please. Alright. Right, so let's try to improve this. The meter is destroyed. Good job. All right, so let's uh, get a few cannons going. Let's get a reactor on that location and we can start nullifying another inhibitor all right so let's claim this area for ourselves with a relay oh those aren't relays this is a relay. That's not a relay. This is a relay. Ah. Are you? Yes, you're in range for something nice. So it's fine. Come on, my shield. 
work it up. You are not in range. But then we will have to make sure you get in range. Amazing. This ship uses recognizable technology for the most part. F through a... For on a massive scale. But the main cannons, the construction is similar to the dark beam of ancient times. Yes, of course. That makes sense. Father, <laughs> the main cannons appear as though they fire self-guided bursts of energy. An energy that will damage the Nexus. These cannons look as they are specifically designed for this purpose. Of course they were. The Loki weren't the only ones who knew what would happen. But the Loki have pre prepared for this possibility, Aliana. They have surrounded the Nexus with a shield. This shield is impervious to any of the weapons we have, including the four. Then we are still at an impasse. Platius was always one step ahead. I won't believe he... Father, I think you're right. The impact of the crash... The, Im the impact of the crashed ship sent tectonic waves through the crust of this world. I show buried structures here that may be of use. Oh, yes, the structures are the main are the rem remains of ancient and primitive weapons, missile silos from a primitive culture. If we terraform down to level one, we can access these remains. I can program the nano construction packs to rebuild them. Ah, you are as brilliant now as. Ever, my daughter. Platius knew this as well. The missiles were flying to the shield around the Nexus and damaged it. The Loki didn't design the shield for such primitive projectile weapons. I'll indicate the location of the silos, father. We must secure those locations and terraform them to level 1. Once excavated, hook up to our network and arm the silos. The four may not be able to penetrate the Nexus shield, Aliana. But I sure bet it will help secure the area around those missile silos. Alright, so... Uh, that area. This area. And the area we already secured here. More range, more build speed. And another area here that we already secured. Um. Excellent. So we will have this one. Right, so let's place the relay here. Destroy these. Terraform this. Let's put uh, two turps to it. Terraform height three. All right. Um, need to place another one there. Let's improve the fire rate. Yes. They're building a sport tower. And another emitter we must nullify. This one's being 
them. Let's improve our packet speed some more. Right, so we need to make room in this uh, on this side. So we need to place the relay somewhere else. We need to clear this out. Terraform this to level 10 as well. Right, that's been excavated. So let's make room here. Oh, you need to. Well, you don't need to stay up. Right, so you're working, you are working. Um. Right, so no. tower it's not that bad let's get you going on there right, more firepower let's do some AC efficiency more build speed Let's uh, try to reduce the amount of enemy towers some more. Two targets, sure. Doing, we're doing well. Let's get a few cannons going here. Nullifier here. Excellent. Well done. More missiles being launched. to remove this one so I can clear those two um, those those are cleared excellent so let's get a, a few turps going a few more collectors more firepower I think we're uh, we we got it. Your efforts are in vain. Continue with this annoyance, and we shall show you a true wrath. Prepare yourself for unseen eventual eventualities, Loki Hive. So let's um, let's 
so much more going on there. Being built, that's fine. We are losing so our oh, it's just here. Fine. That's okay. More energy efficiency. More build speed. Ah, we got him. The shield around the Nexus is down, father. Now we will use the main cannons of the mighty four and destroy the Nexus. We shall see Skarsgatabraxis and the Anomaly. Now witness our true wrath. What true wrath? More build speed. Oh, he's shooting stuff. Well, it's fine. Soon we have five mighty fours. Almost done. One, two, three, four, five. So how? Where well, we need them uh, filled with ammo. Alright, so let's try to get rid of those pesky inhibitors that are still around. Um, we fire at this. Just connect everything. Modify that. Modify this. Get a nullify going on here. to somehow how do we do this? Ah, 
Oh, I see. You know, Emperor. Emperor. This ends now, Loki Hive. Many eventualities, many Emperor. Loki Hive transmission terminated. I think we succeeded. Splooey. Hi, I'm speechless, father. And so it is done, my daughter. Ten billion years it has taken, and now I stand as a finite being at last. I'm not so sure about it, father. The Ark once made cannot be unmade. It is here and stands at your disposal. This is a great power for a finite man. Perhaps as the Imperator I could. Father, I'm ju only just beginning to understand this great plan of yours. But I believe everything that has happened did so as you had planned. Perhaps, my daughter. Perhaps I shall choose to believe that. But even with all that I know now and remember, I'm not sure what to do next. The Ark allows you to visit any time, any place, in any alternate reality. You can go anywhere at any time. But where would one go with such choices? Who or what would one be? I have an idea, Father. Perhaps you can travel to 10 billion years ago when the Loki first emerged into greatness. Interesting proposition, Aliana. And what will I call myself? How about something familiar? Something to honor one you always respected? How about... Yes, Aliana. You've always been very wise. I think I shall choose that name during my travels. At least for a while. It is all very clear to me. When I travel to times past, I will simply be called... Platias. Nice. Attendees, Utenmont Arc Project Widgets Director. Transcript follows. Ah, oh, more reading. Uh, well, you can you can read this, right? This uh, are the credits, so enjoy the credits. Excellent. Well, that was uh, the third installment of Creeper World. Great game. I, I like all those uh, Creeper World games. Two is my least favorite, I think, but still, fun game. So, um, yeah. 
Like I said, I won't be doing all the bonus lev levels since there are just too many of them. So the next time will be a different game. Which game it will be? I don't know yet. We'll see. Until then, thank you for joining me again and see you later.